We all have our own weaknesses in life, myself included. I, I work too hard. I, I care too much about people. I'm working on it. So come on, give me a break. There's nothing wrong with having faults. A lot of people like their weird looking wood tables. It's like, oh, it's, what is that, stained? Is that stained? It's like, no, it's natural. That's the way the wood, I like it. It's, it's a weird thing, like a deformity, but I love it so much, don't you? Not really, no. It looks gross, like animals peed on it. You should sell it. Our flaws are what make us unique. I never used to see it. In high school, do you have any idea the lengths at which, to which I would avoid people just because of this mole here? I was so embarrassed. I couldn't give a shit less right now. I used to sit in class. I would map it out. I'd be on this side, okay. Full right wall here, protection. Nobody can see it from that side. Oh, we got this person in front, okay. Don't look behind here, and if they did, I had a backup plan. It was this move. Would chill like this. What's that? You need a pen? Yeah, I think I have one. Yeah, I'll get it. Why aren't I using both hands? Oh, I could, I like this, this is fine, it's easier. I'll get it to you soon. I'll mail it to you. Don't look at me. So if you have some flaws in life, embrace them. If you're gurgly, just gurgle it up. If you're chubby, chubby in the gut sack region, just embrace it. Maybe lose it, though, eventually. You don't want heart failure. But some camera companies are taking this little leniency I'm providing them with a little too serious. A little cannon. Yeah, you got problems. And you're embracing them too much. And Sony, don't even make me backhand you right now. Go to sleep before 8 o'clock. No dinner, no dessert or dinner. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. You may have noticed I upgraded my bed frame from the floor to a king, king royalty set. I found it. I found it on the street. There's no bed bugs, right? Am I orange? Are you trying to tell me I'm orange right now? Dare we dare dream to change it. Now I'm pale and anemic. I'm vegan. Oh, there we go. Oh. Is that good? I lowered it 200 Kelvins. That's what she said, you know? Lower your Kelvins. So today I figured we'd talk about each camera company's faults they all have some good points. In fact, it's funny, it's mostly good. Each camera system is like 80 to 90% there. But it's the faults we focus on. You could get a hundred comments, like compliments. Say, oh, I love your show. You're the best. Thanks for saving my life. I love you. <laughs> and then you get one comment, like, your beard is weird. It's patchy. You should shave it, you child man. That's the one that sticks in the brain. For the rest of the day, isn't it? That hurts. Perfectly fine beard. It's not patchy. I choose to be this way. I shave little patches into it. No one believed that, that you shave it purposefully. You're a mutant. You know it, I know it. Yeah, just leave gracefully. They can still see you. So when it comes to Canon, they have amazing cameras. This would be perfect. The Canon EOS R, could you even imagine it? I'd have to adapt a lens because they're they're taking their sweet ass time with the wide angle. They're spending all their time on these like stupid glorious lenses for nerds, geek. They have some patent for a zoom lens, 50 to 80 f 1.1. Things gonna weigh more than a goat. And what do you want to bring with you on a hike? A goat or a lens? The goat will help you. It'll lead you to water. It'll give you milk. If you can tolerate it, my bowels can't, but I'd be the first to die. That's fine, I'm fine with it. I made my choice and I stick by it. But for the most part, Canon has good autofocus. Their codec now, 1080p, fantastic. Even their 4K, it's like super high megabit. Too much, too good, they're too good. But they got faults. Canon's biggest fault really is their feature withholding nature. It's kind of a new thing, no is it? I don't I don't know when it happened, but they're ramping it up now. They're removing 24p from everything. 
I think every single camera that comes out now, zero, no 24p, no cinematic video. You want video, we have something for you. It weighs 75 pounds, makes glorious footage. You will hurt yourself. You need a shoulder rig and then an opposite. Get a parrot on this side to balance it back out. Then you make your pirate show, you pirate asshole. If Canon just starts to try, they got it. They got it, all they need is Ibis and then try. So with Canon, they do a huge crop in 4K. Oh, we're, we're in Canon 4K mode. Oh boy. Okay. Um, this is workable. Thank you, Canon, for giving us 4K. I love you. Sometimes they give you 4K, but take away the autofocus in it. They can't do both. I can do two things at a time, sometimes, depending what they are. I could eat a mango while riding a penguin. I've done that. So they're clearly taking away features to protect their cinema line. They had a meeting about it, apparently. I wouldn't mind listening in on it. If I can, I can hear it. All right, fellas, the smartphone is effed us. We're effed. Is that, Bill, is that a smartphone you're holding in the meeting? What were you, you're fired. Give me that. My wife's pregnant. We're having the baby any minute. Give it. Shut up. Can you text her the number of the payphone downstairs in the lobby? I'll, I'll go wait by that. No, you're fired. So, guys, the smartphone, they got a lot of features, and I like most of them. How do we compete? I don't even know what to do anymore. We're losing a lot of money. I can't even afford the Cheetos I like for dinner. Help. Help me. Well, smartphones are tiny, and they do everything our cameras do, but better. It's, it's embarrassing. But if... We add the features of a smartphone and shrink our cameras down to look just like phones. We might stand a chance. I hate you so much, Gary. I'm just, let's do the opposite of what Gary just said. Let's take out features, make our cameras bigger. The lens is just fantastically big. Can we do that? Do we have the resources? Let's buy stock in smartphones and then we'll have the money. Can and your demon children babies are seagull babies. Now, that's all we know for sure. When it comes to Sony, they got problems too. Almost perfect camera, their lack of flippy screens slightly annoys me to the point where I'm developing a left side hemorrhage from the twitching, but they're getting there. They're at least giving us the flip up. It does feel like they're flipping up a middle finger at our faces, but we'll take it. I'll take your Sony crumbs of the sandwich of life. Sony's main weakness is the IBIS, and I don't think they can improve it because their tiny mount is tiny. How are you gonna shake this around in a tiny mount? There's only so much room. Even with a stabilized lens and IBIS working together, best friends forever. Shaky shit. Unusable. Unusable footage, Sony, you're fired. The bitter tasting irony here is they've developed the best and smoothest stabilization system this world has ever known in the BOSS system. The sensor moves with the lens. It's unbelievable, but they only use it in camcorders. Camcorders are for babies who escape from prison. That's who uses them. Panasonic has showed us that it's possible to stabilize a full-frame sensor quite decently, and so is Nikon. They could do it. Bigger mount. They foresaw the future. Go big now, go tiny later. I myself go tiny all the time, you know? Excuse me, where are your small condoms? The extra small ones? Do you have any in stock? I only see the big ones here. These are not even close to fitting me. I, whatever you see there is all we got. Yeah, these things are way too big. Just not even in the same league. It's like, what? who were these made for? These things fall right off me. Do you, do you have the, like, the extra skinny ones? Those, do you have the skinny version? I don't, I don't think they make those. Just whatever we got there. Yeah, because these ones are like a plastic bag on me, basically. Just, there's a lot of room to spare in there. It's, it's not very safe for either of us. So it's just, you don't have the extra super tiny ones? Where are those? How much are they? I'm sorry, guy. It's a one-size-fits-all kind of system we work with. I, I'm sorry for your plight. 
yeah, no worries. It's just they're so big. It just I thought it was a joke at first. I was like, what's this? A April Fool's store? But it wasn't. It wasn't. So I don't know what that was, but Sony just make better condoms with better stabilization in it. Just put in the research. I believe in you. Panasonic has one problem, they're stubborn, and they refuse to change their autofocus. It's their only problem. And they just, they don't want to change it. I don't understand it. That's the only thing they have to fix. I was even looking at that Olympus EM1 Mark II they added. How did they add phase detection autofocus? Was it already in there? Why wasn't it working before? It works amazing now. I want to buy it. Panasonic has all the best features, the flippy screen, you name it. And they refuse to focus on me. I gotta pull off hacks, freaking remote hacks. It works fantastically. But I've dropped this thing 75 times filming this video. That's all they have to change though. I wouldn't mind seeing Ibis in the GH5S line, GH6S, success. Oh my God, it writes itself. That camera will be a success. No one cares that phase detect pixels might cause banding if you underexpose 500 stops and then lift it like a caveman would lift a rock onto his wife in a mating ritual. We're at ISO 160. We expose with shutter speed like a champion. We're at 250. Let's go right there. 400. Perfect. No, the windows are still clipping. We have to perfectly expose. Oh, they're still clipping. Still clipping. Oh my god, they're clipping. There we go. Perfectly exposed image. And now we lift the shadows. Yeah, it doesn't look good, does it? Yeah. There's no phase detect pixels in here. Do you see banding? I wish I joined a band. A flute band. When it comes to Fuji, they need so much work that it's almost not worth talking about. They have no flip. Their autofocus is good, but not perfect. Ibis? Where's that? Last seen in the X-H1, your stupid camera that makes no sense. It's obsolete. You're not even going to make another one. You're like, yeah, we have to. We made the X-T3. That's obsolete. We're idiots. The only thing they have is Fuji Color. And honestly, whenever I'm looking at a Fuji video, usually it's like, oh, that looks a little weird. Kind of contrasty and green. You green bitch. You're ugly. There's no Canon colors. What we need is Samsung to come back and save us from ourselves. They know how to make the perfect camera. They'll do it. Just will they choose to do it for little coins instead of gold watches? I've been looking hard at that Samsung Note 10 Plus just for vlogging. It does blur the background artificially. It looks retarded, but I would like that. It would fit with the theme I got going on here. How dare you? How dare you agree with that? The only thing is they've removed the headphone jack, so you can't plug a mic in. You need a special, like, USB-C mic. They have them, and it might work. A little lab mic bone. Hmm. And then this GoPro 8 rumor with a flip-up screen attachment that will suck the battery like a vampire. That can't be good. But a built-in mic thing? Hmm. Imagine that, if it's a really good mic. But GoPros just, they die, they, they crash. No camera crashes, but GoPro, the one American company, why do you crash your cameras and cars so much? I hate that. So who's gonna get it right first? Post it down below. Are there any other faults I've missed? Are there any companies I've missed? I don't think so. Leica doesn't count. Pentax, that's a joke company. Started on April Fools. So, we're done. Thank you so much for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. And subscribing for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.